Okay, let's get right into it. Today I'm going to be trying out for you the new Anastasia Magic Touch concealer. Disclaimer, this is actually the third time I have filmed this video, so I have tried this already. Um, it's a long story, but technical difficulties with the first video. The second video, I had some weird mic issues happening, and I was just like, you know what, I think this video was just not meant to be, but I really wanted to share my thoughts with you um, because I think they might be pretty different from what uh, a lot of people are saying about this concealer. So we're going to go into this today. So just a little bit about this concealer. It comes in 25 shades. It retails for $29 and they say it's a buildable medium to full coverage with a natural luminous finish. It also does say, I think this is interesting in the description, the shades do not shift or oxidize. I think that's interesting. I feel like you don't normally see a product say that in their description, but it they make a point of saying that in this one. So I have the shade number four. The first time I filmed this video, I had shade number six, which was described as light with neutral undertones. I'm telling you that does not have, number six is not a neutral concealer. It is 100% yellow. It is, I mean, it's almost an orange color. So that one did not work at all. So I returned that one. I had planned to get shade number five, which I think they describe as a peach to neutral undertone, I wanna say, but that was also very orange. So I went down to shade number four, and honestly, I'm not sure about this shade match either. The shades on this to me, in the light, fair category at least, are iffy. I feel like five and six are very yellow, orangey, and then one through four are very, very light. I feel like they're geared more toward very, very fair skin. Um, so this here is shade number four. They describe this as cool undertone. Honestly, to me, it looks more like a neutral undertone, but you can be the judge when I put it on my face. And last but not least, I am going to apply color corrector. If you have never seen my videos before, I always apply a color corrector under my concealer no matter what. But this time I will say I'm only gonna apply it on one eye. The last time I did a concealer video and I applied corrector on both eyes, I got a comment from someone that was very upset that I put corrector on both of my eyes because she wanted to see it without the corrector. So that's what we're gonna do today. I will do um, the right side with no corrector and the left side with corrector. So for you, it probably looks like the opposite, but corrector on this side, no corrector on this side. So I'll first apply my corrector to my left eye. And one of my favorites is Bobbi Brown. I use the shade Bisque. And I'm gonna apply this under my eye like I normally would. So we're gonna go in with the concealer now. This is what it looks like. The packaging definitely reminds me of Shape Tape. The size, the feel of it just really reminds me of Tarte Shape Tape. And it does have a doe foot applicator. It's a little bit of a longer, pointier doe foot than what you normally see in concealer, in my opinion. So we're gonna go in with this. We'll do the left side first, which is the side with corrector. So I'm gonna do some here and some there. So I let it sit on my skin for about a minute. I would say that's how I typically apply concealer. And now I'm gonna use my brush to start blending this out. This is my favorite concealer brush. Ever. It's the Sigma FO3 brush. It's not even 
designed to be used for concealer, but I love it for that. If you watch my videos all the time, then you are most likely sick of hearing me talk about it because I use it in pretty much every video. So I'm just going to kind of tap this out. And as you can see, it is very pigmented, very, very pigmented. Cause you saw I only applied a dot here and a dot out here and you saw how much it spread pretty much all the way across my face and even down into my cheek area a little bit. So it definitely has a lot of pigment to it. A little bit goes a long way. So you do not need to go crazy and do the triangle thing. That's just gonna, that's just gonna turn into a mess in my opinion. So keep that in mind. Okay, so there it is. First observation, like I said, I've tried this before. So this is not a first impression, but this concealer is very luminous looking. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell as much on camera, but the finish is very luminous. It reminds me of the Luminous Foundation from Anastasia, which honestly I don't love in a concealer. I feel like I like, I don't always love a super matte concealer, but I also don't know in terms of practicability how practical it is to have something super luminous under your eyes especially if you have issues with creasing, settling in fine lines, anything like that. I feel like if it's too hydrating and too luminous, that can also turn bad. <laughs> but it looks okay as of right now. The other observation to me, in my opinion, this shade is a tad bit light. For me, it may not be as obvious, or it may be more obvious right now because I don't have anything else on my face. Well, you can see what it looks like when I put my foundation on, but to me, this shade is a little bit light. I don't know. Maybe if you've tried this concealer, let me know what you think about the lighter shades. I feel like the shades are off. Even if you look at the swatches in the promo photos, I feel like you go from really, really light to the light shades that are pretty dark to be considered a light. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me. That's my observation. So number one, it does give really good coverage. I would say this is a very, very solid medium coverage right now. It is luminous, I would say. In my opinion, I would probably set this with a little bit of powder. And it does look hydrating, but very luminous. So if you don't like that under your eyes, you might not love this. Okay, now we're gonna go into this side with the concealer. So we're going straight in with concealer. We're not using corrector on this side. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a dot here and a dot here. Okay, I let this side sit for about a minute and now I'm gonna start tapping this in with my FO3 from Sigma. I did want to also mention I prepped my under eyes with the same eye cream that I always use. It's the Banana Bright from Ole Henriksen, if you were curious. So I didn't want to use anything different or unusual in case something happens with this concealer. I want to know that it's not what I prepped my under eyes with. Corrector. No corrector. I will say I'm pretty impressed with how it looks without corrector because typically I never, ever, 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 ever apply a concealer without corrector underneath. I just feel like the corrector makes a big difference. I feel like it does a pretty decent job without the corrector on this eye, in my opinion. You can let me know what you think. But it could also be that they they describe this shade number four as a cool undertone. So maybe the coolness of it is kind of helping with the blueness. But I do think it shows through on both eyes, to be honest. I think even the side with the corrector, I have a little bit of a bluish cast 
underneath my eyes. And I don't know if you're going to be able to tell that on camera, but I do think it shows through a little bit. But I also think that could partially be from this color because the color is not bad, but it's definitely not a perfect match for me for concealer just based on what I normally go for. I like a true neutral concealer and to me this is not. And the neutrals that they describe as neutral were not on my skin. So that's just my opinion. Hopefully you can see, I can't get any closer. This is as close as I can get. Hopefully you can see the finish. It is very, very dewy looking. Very, very dewy. And right now it looks okay, but I do see like right here, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it's already settling right here on my eyes. And this is the side that has no corrector. That's kind of what you run into when you go or you use something under the eyes that's very, um, has that illuminating quality to it and very hydrating. It can sometimes really magnify or settle into little tiny lines that you have. So we'll just keep that in mind for now. I'm not gonna set with any powder right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and look again and maybe I'll do powder on one side and no powder on the other side. I'm gonna wear this all day and later on I will give you a clip in natural light so you can see that as well and we'll do a full day wear test on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. Okay, I finished the rest of my makeup and I wanna show you what this concealer is looking like. Let me zoom you in again. So here it is, hopefully you can see. Again, I have no powder under my eyes. I do have powder on the rest of my face, but I did not apply anything to my under eyes as I wanted you to see how it looks before we do that. And you can see, hopefully, I do think it has dried down slightly just in, it's actually been like 30 minutes now. I'm actually filming another video um, that I was filming in between this. Um, and it's been about 30 minutes since I applied this. It has dried a little bit. It still has kind of a luminous finish to it though. I will also say, on this side right here, there is definitely some settling going on right here, right in my inner corner, kind of up towards my lash line where I have tiny little fine lines. That's where a lot of us have them. That I am noticing and it has dried down slightly, but it does, it still looks pretty luminous, I have to say. And the color, I'm not crazy about. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera, but it something about this color concealer is just not really working for me. It looks, I don't know how to explain it. It almost makes my under eyes look a tiny bit gray. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but I don't love the, the color, but it doesn't look bad right now. Um, so let's do just a little bit of powder. And I think I'm just gonna do powder on this side, which is the side with corrector. I'm not gonna do powder on my right side. I'm gonna take my concealer brush. So this is my FO3 from Sigma and I'm just gonna kinda go over, mainly right in the inner corner. And then I'll take, this is just a little eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. And we'll leave this side with no powder. But overall, I like this concealer, but I don't love it as of right now. It kind of reminds me of the new Lancome Tint Idol Concealer. That one is hydrating, but it sets to more of, I would say like a satin finish, whereas this one is hydrating and luminous and it stays kind of luminous in my opinion. So they're similar, but a little bit different depending on 
the finish that you want. I think that this one has a little bit more coverage than the Lancome one. I think the Lancome is a true medium coverage, whereas this one, I would say, is medium to full buildable. So those are kind of my initial thoughts right now. I'm gonna wear this makeup all day and later I will take a clip over by the window so we can see what everything is looking like and how it wears. So I will see you guys in a few hours. Hi everyone, it's been about four hours since I applied the concealer and I wanted to show it to you. I'm standing in front of a window. This is where I can get the best natural light. So hopefully you can really see. So this is what the concealer looks like. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I feel like it looks better today than it looked the other two times that I tried it, which is really interesting. So again, this is the side with corrector. This is the side with no corrector. So you can definitely see right here a little bit of dryness and settling. This side did not have powder, this side did. I do think, honestly, the two sides don't look that different. I feel like maybe the side with powder looks like a tiny, tiny bit better, but not by much. I feel like they look pretty similar. And it's definitely not as shiny looking as it was earlier. To me, this is definitely, I would say a full medium coverage. I don't think this is full, full coverage, but I did only go in with one layer as well when I applied this. Um, but I do think it looks pretty good. I'm kind of surprised because the last few times I've used it, when I tried to film, I felt like it didn't wear as well. The only thing different I did was I used a different powder today. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder and before I used, I think I used the Pat McGrath Under Eye Setting Powder. So that's really the only difference, but honestly it looks pretty good, to be honest. I'm kind of surprised. So we will see how it looks in a few more hours. I did take a nap too, so I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't look worse. I don't feel like it's really worn off much either. I definitely think there's still a tiny, tiny bit of shine left under my eyes, but definitely not like it was when I first applied it. So those are really my main thoughts as of right now, and I will do one more check-in a little bit later and give you my final thoughts on this concealer. Okay, it is the end of the day. It is almost eight o'clock, so this Makeup has been on for about nine hours now and I'm about to go take my makeup off, but I wanted to close out this video. So let me get up really close to the camera. Overall, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look great. It looked okay earlier. That was about four o'clock. When I looked in my phone, I filmed the clip earlier. It looked okay. Now, uh, neither side looks very good. This side is the one with no powder and no corrector. And it just looks super, super dry. I mean, really dry. Like, the, it's strange. The finish is still a little bit luminous looking, but like right here, it looks extremely dry. And it's also, I feel like, worn off a little bit because I can definitely see the blueness peeking through on this side. This side, honestly, this is the side with the powder. It doesn't look that much better. It looks still pretty dry. And I feel like, again, you may not be able to tell there, but we've definitely lost some coverage right here. This has kind of been my experience the other two times I tried to film this video. It's not a horrible concealer, but it's just not great in my opinion. I personally prefer the new one size concealer or the Lancome concealer which is very similar in terms of um, consistency but the Lancome one wears a little bit better in my opinion. The coverage on this one is a little bit better than the Lancome but at the end of the day to me the Lancome looks a little bit better and actually the Lancome and the one size paired together I also really like so 
Honestly, I would choose those over this one. I know a lot of people have said they really liked it. It's not bad, it's just, I don't know, I don't love how it wears, how it looks at the end of the day, and I also don't love the shade range, which the shade is kind of a deal breaker for me. If the shade is not good, there's not much, there's nowhere for you to really go from there, but those are kind of my thoughts. I think it's okay, not great, um, and that's kind of my opinion on it. So let me know if you've tried this concealer. I know a lot of people have tried it and really liked it. Um, and like I said, I don't think it's horrible, but I don't love how it looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you tried this concealer or if you want to try it, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. I post three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair01. I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, simply be you.